Uh, Taoiseach, as I speak, retained firefighters are on strike. Rolling work stoppages will see half of fire stations in the service shut, and this will be followed by an all-out strike action next week outside of emergency calls. The strike is unprecedented, and it certainly has not been undertaken lightly. Retained firefighters have been pushed to the very brink by government, and they feel that they've been left with no choice. They are the very best of our communities. They do their jobs under incredibly difficult circumstances, acting as first responders at scenes that most of us could never even imagine, saving lives, often putting their own lives on the line. Their work is essential, it's highly skilled, it's life-saving, and it is totally undervalued by this government. So retiring firefighters are at their wits' end. They're on call 24-7, 50 weeks of the year. They're underpaid, overstretched, and feel totally let down. For years, they've urged government to deliver a proper plan to ensure that they have safe working conditions and fair pay. But government has buried its head in the sand. Fire services should be a basic public service that communities can rely on, not an optional luxury. But years of underinvestment and failure to plan by government have seen these services run into the ground. And there is now clearly a recruitment and a retention crisis. Staff shortages are worryingly common, and unions warn that staff levels are often dangerously low. Indeed, some fire authorities have been forced to temporarily close stations due to unsafe staffing levels. And there is a real risk that all of this could get even worse. Government's most recent review revealed that 58% of current retained firefighters warned they were likely to leave the service within the next three years, forced to give up a job they love because they cannot continue. Negotiations with the firefighters' representatives have been insufficient and in any event have broken down. So, Ton Servis, Dochon, Atta, Ervon, Forch, Aimshire, Fuivru, Nilandara, Rawa, Aku, Akdol, Erstalk, Nimlian, Tagan, Inestio, Tchart, Agus, Kianar, Aklag, On Realtus, Nimor, Egan Realtus, Planchin, Fenakur, Ivine, Agus, Akinshu, Govine, On Firin, Servis, Dochon, On Paul, Kurum, Agus, Nukinshi, Ibra, Sawalcha, Atta, O Lurig, Aku. So Sinn Féin have brought forward solutions to resolve this matter. And tonight, Taoiseach, our proposals come before the Dáil. Our plan urges government to engage in proper, good faith negotiations with representatives of the retained firefighters to address their concerns without delay and to prevent any further escalation of industrial action. And this needs to happen urgently. Our plan empowers government to bring forward a financial investment package to ensure the service gets the funding and the resourcing that it needs. And this would allow for the creation of a system with safe staffing levels. So Taoiseach, I want to ask you, will you stand with our firefighters? Will you back Sinn Féin's plan to support the retained fire services? And will you support our motion tonight? Um, thanks very much, Deputy. Just, just at the outset, uh, I wanted on behalf of the government to express um, our shock and our horror at the events in Nottingham today. Um, we don't know the details yet. Uh, only a certain amount of information is available, um, but it's clear that there have been fatalities and a number of injuries. And we extend our condolences to uh, those who have had loved ones or friends killed uh, and our best wishes to those who've been injured for a speedy recovery. And we'll be in touch with the British authorities today uh, to offer uh, any assistance we can give uh, and, of course, um, uh, our, our solidarity. Um, in relation to the matter that the, the deputy raises, um, I just wanted to say that the government uh, values the work of our retained firefighters. They're highly committed frontline responders, providing an exceptional service in their communities across the state. And we know that their terms and conditions need to improve, uh, and we're committed to making that happen. And the government has been working on this issue for a number of months now. There have been negotiations, and significant progress has been made with the proposal made to the union SIP2, which included a 20% increase in staffing and elements of rebalancing of pay with structured time off and more flexible working arrangements. 
that this would all fall within the scope of building momentum. This is the public sector pay agreement that both unions and government are committed to and both sides must honour. So I do hope that the two sides can re-engage to resolve the dispute. The offices of the government are available to intervene. Uh, the Workplace Relations Commission uh, would be the first port of call in that regard. Uh, my message to the public uh, is that uh, emergency contingencies are in place and that any emergency calls with respect to fire uh, will be answered to. In Tiam Lati Hakta, Ta on Serbish Doton Freebrew, in Tiam Lat, Agus Beg on Five Shin Aretu, a Kahamidve a Kaint Le Kailarish, Agus Ta Ifig on Stot Airfoil, Marhaupla on WRC, Kun Ve Kaintarish. Vi McDonald. Thank you, Tishuk. As you well know, the uh, discussions broke down on uh, May the 11th. Uh, you know and you have acknowledged that the uh, firefighters, retained firefighters, are indeed under pressure. As I said earlier, they're on call 24-7. They can't, in fact, move uh, further than a radius of two and a half kilometres uh, without sanction. So they make very considerable personal sacrifices and their retainer, their fixed uh, fee, fixed salary starts at the, the huge sum of eight and a half thousand euros per annum. Like there has to be movement uh, on that Taoiseach and I think you have to bring more than hope uh, to the table or, or more than passing the book. I think it's absolutely essential that there's meaningful engagement here. There can be no further delay. I know that the Minister's Department has had some limited contact now with union representatives with Taoiseach. We need to see that uh, stepped up. Positive comments that might be made here on the, the floor of the dollar are all well and good, but what we need is a proper, realistic offer that rewards these essential frontline workers for the life-saving tasks that they undertake. You, so uh, I agree with you in terms of getting right back around the negotiating table, but can I ask what will you concretely do as head of government to make sure that good faith uh, negotiations resume without further delay?